Uh, good morning. It's uh, uh, Thursday the 2nd of April as I make this recording and I'm Warren, I'm the minister of Greenford Baptist Church um, and during this time every few days either myself or somebody else from within our church is um, I'm bringing some stuff to you um, that we believe that the Lord might well be trying to say to us. I want to read uh, from uh, a passage uh, to you. Um, it's from Colossians uh, chapter 1, uh, verses 15 to 20. Uh, really well known, but I'd like to read it to you. So you can pause me again if you wish and uh, go and find uh, Colossians chapter 1, verses 15 to 20. Christ is the visible image of of the invisible God. He created before, sorry, he existed before anything, was created and is supreme over all creation. For through him, God created everything in the heavenly realms and on earth. He made the things we can see and the things we can't see, such as thrones, kingdoms, rulers and authorities in the unseen world. Everything was created through him and for him. He existed before anything else and he holds all creation together. Christ is also the head of the church, which is his body. He is the beginning, supreme over all who rise from the dead. So he is the first in everything. For God in all his fullness was pleased to live in Christ and through him God reconciled everything to himself. He made peace with everything in heaven and on earth by means of Christ's blood on the cross. Hopefully by now you've seen I've titled this particular talk Heads Up! Because I believe that's uh, what God wants to say uh, to you, to me, to all of us today. Here in the UK, um, uh, we had our first report yesterday of 563 people with, uh, of actually dying from this coronavirus. And as I've said before, even just one is bad enough. But to have such a large number suddenly one day jump up. Um, really brings it home, uh, even more so, if it could do at all, of how uh, dangerous this particular uh, pandemic, this, this virus is. So please continue to follow all uh, guidelines about staying at home and uh, protecting both yourself, your family, your neighbours and the rest of creation if we can. But to hear such a large number um, could possibly bring to you um, just great waves of fear can bring, especially at night, especially when we hear these numbers mainly uh, late in the afternoon uh, at uh, uh, on the BBC, which is or Sky or whatever news channel you're on, because that's when the numbers tend to come out. And then because you haven't had time to, I suppose, process and think about that and pray about it, maybe because it's late at night. Late at night is when we get tired. Late at night is when the darkness comes. And a number like that can create real darkness and real fear. And I've been mulling uh, on and off uh, on this particular passage in collections uh, over the last uh, week or so. And it just, just sits up at me, it just stands up. And it, it makes me realise that we as Christians should be heads up. Um, we don't ignore these numbers, we pray against these numbers, we pray for the frontline staff, we, we pray for them and we pray that this virus does close down. But I suppose also in this process we should be praying for our heads to be up and seeing uh, beyond this and... Um, if you've listened to any of the Sunday uh, talk, um, I have no problem in repeating basically almost the same thing again and again and again. 
as it says in that uh, in that passage in Philippians 3 1 it's about um, so to safeguard your faith so Christ is the visible image of the invisible God he existed before th all things and I suppose two things I want to pull out for this first it says that God created everything in the heavenly realms and on earth and so be very careful that we suddenly think, oh, that means this disease. No, it does not. It means all things that were good were created. What's happened is, is unfortunately, because of sin, it mars and breaks things. We know that we are polluting the atmosphere with our, say, our cars. We know we're polluting our food chain with plastic um, now. We know all of this. So, And, and we eventually created uh, those items um, so there's a bit of hard theology for us to realise we humans have got a lot of responsibility. I'm not going to go into the depth. I am no medical doctor or research scientist about the uh, coronavirus at all. What I do know is that we live in a very fractured, broken world. And we need to bear that in mind. And sickness was never part of God's original plan. But anyway, everything was created through Christ. Thrones, kingdoms, rulers, authorities in the unseen world. Everything was created through him and for him. He existed before anything else. So, so Jesus the man was sort of God the son incarnate, becoming flesh. We know this. And we are we celebrate that Christmas. And, and next week we're going to be uh, celebrating uh, Easter. We're going to be celebrating the redemption of uh, the cosmos because of uh, Jesus Christ's death and resurrection on the cross but we'll come to that at a later stage I suppose what God wants to say here is look I'm, I'm holding all creation together it may not look like it right now it may not look like it's happening but actually uh, uh, God through Jesus Christ is holding all of creation together and he is fully aware of what is going on so it's in this that we need to continue to recognise, keep our heads up and focused on Lord, focused on Jesus Christ, focused on God the Father, focused on God the Holy Spirit. Focus on that in all the midst of this to raise our heads above the fear, raise our heads above the darkness and continue to focus on him. We, especially the church, we need to have our heads up. Because we need to be able to point people upwards in the midst of this fear that would like to keep our heads downwards. So he existed before all creation. So if that's the case, if he existed before everything else, he knows exactly what is currently going on. And then at which point you'd be saying, well, why doesn't he stop it all? Well, uh, the Lord, as I said before, in his sovereignty does allow bad things to happen because he has a bigger picture than we could possibly and I know that really hurts us sometimes but he does if he was to stop every little bad thing and I'm not saying coronavirus is a little bad thing hear me carefully but if he was if he was to to um, stop everything it means we'd all be stopped from doing bad things it means we'd all become robots so therefore then there is no relationship with him that is of our decision making and our want for a relationship and so in this time of keeping our heads up it's about the relationship keeping the relationship and I know I keep repeating it but hey listen this is a week later by now you could have that whole relationship could start fading you could start reading the bad news Satan would love nothing better than the church to go oh it's just all terrible and God's not in it Keep the relationship going, my brothers and sisters. I suppose a song that's been stuck in my head today is I Raise Another Hallelujah. Uh, it's uh, I think it's a Bethel song. My memory serves great. You know, I'm not even going to try and sing it, um, but it's like, Raise a hallelujah in the presence of my enemies. Yeah, you can take your fingers out your ears now. But I, I want to ask you, um, listen to it. Uh, listen to it if you can. Uh, pull it up and listen to it.
And also we need to remember that Jesus Christ is supreme over all who rise from the dead. He is the first fruit and we'll be celebrating that next week. But if Christ is the first in uh, raising from the dead, it means that death has no hold over us. So we can raise our heads, raise our heads, lift our heads up, lift your heads head up. Spend time with the Father. Continue, I urge you continue developing that relationship and as I said on Sunday going deeper with him. He wants a depth with you, allow him, go deeper with him. God bless to you.